Hello viewers, we have a brand new Nations Cup and manufacturer season on the horizon, as we can see in sport mode at the bottom here. Let's take a look. So manufacturer's cup first. This is season two, exhibition season. So it doesn't really count for anything. And it's a very short one. Beginning in a week's time on the 30th of December, ending just two weeks after, or barely even two weeks after, on the 10th. So about a week and a half. Four rounds, group three for all of them, Nürburgring 24, Watkins Glen, Mount Panorama and Dragon Trail. Quite an easy season, all group three. But it gets a bit more interesting in the Nations Cup. This starts after the manufacturers, so on the 13th, running for two weeks until the 27th, four rounds as well. Interestingly, round four is, well, it, it says there, nothing. No uh, specified car yet and no track yet specified which could mean that these are a car and a track which are yet in the game. So the other three rounds, Spa, Fuji, Interlagos, two specified cars, and then the Mazda 3 for round two. So speaking of updates, the last update we had was on the 21st of November, 1.41. This was um, like a minor update, adding or just changing a few little things here and there. Nothing major was added to the game, really. So the last update to actually add anything was at the beginning of November. So the, the Spec 2 update, very big update in the game. And interestingly, this was at the beginning of a month, whereas normally the updates on GT7 are towards the end of the month. Normally we start seeing Kaz post his silhouettes on Twitter around about this time of the month. Either way, guys, quite good to see some new seasons coming up, which we can race. The game does feel a little bit bare bones online. But having said that, I'm going to jump into... Daily Race B, Group 3 at Deep Forest. Let's jump in. And here we are, seventh on the grid. This is a very competitive uh, race this week. Only did two laps to qualify with a 26.8. And that puts me seventh on the grid. So it's going to be quite hard fought from here. Uh, the mid-pack, uh, let's say from about fifth to tenth, or even sort of fourth to twelfth, that kind of area is only within a few tenths of each other on the grid. So going to be quite hard for let's see if we can try and move forward at least that is always the aim i mean going backwards doesn't help really does it engaging reverse gear and driving back around the track kind of frowned upon anyway let's do this brake bias slightly towards the front this car doesn't have very good brakes compared to the porsche what have we got behind another four gt that's that helps i guess because, yeah, the, the main two cars you'll see in this race are the Porsche and the 4GT. 4GT, very good on the straight. So let's try and have a good first lap here. Oh, Lamborghini looks kind of off the line there already. Okay, that's decent. I'll take two positions. Might be quite hard to keep this. Okay, they're fighting behind. That lap beginning has had an awful first lap. I think you started third. Just need to try and move forward now. Get into the slipstream of, the, of max power in front. Joseph behind there almost went into the back of me. So I think it's quite crucial here that I pull away from these guys behind. Get, I don't want to get dragged into a battle with them. Let's try and maybe get onto the back of this Porsche. I know he's quick max power around this track. Pulling away, that's nice. That Porsche is much nicer through the middle sector than this 4 GT.
But from here until pretty much until turn one, the 4 GT is much stronger. So I just need to get maybe four tenths behind coming out of this hairpin. Then I've got a shot into turn one. That's a bit close. Needs a break on the 150, I think. Going into that hairpin. Don't think I'll be close enough on this lap. But this is a good sign that I am within some sort of range. But you see the dis difference in speed here. I think I might have scared him off the line there a little bit. But I'm not going to be able to... Um, Get the move done. Third is possible if everything goes well. If. Keyword. try and get this hairpin a bit better this time and not murder max power that would help okay we definitely got a chance here absolutely got a chance see if he defends or not Could I get the double? Could I get the double? Don't overshoot. Ooh. Damn it. Could have had the double if I didn't overshoot. That is frustrating. Good race though go again I let him back up the inside on the way out bit wide yeah we're definitely in with a shot here I've got the pace to match these guys only two laps remaining after this so I need to kind of get on with this First place went very wide there. Okay. Once again, good range here. Don't know if I'll be able to do the double again, but let's see. Possible. Let's not overshoot it. next to me I've got one but I won't be able to get him oh god <laughs> he did very well to recover that I thought he was a goner Okay. I've got a chance here into the hairpin. Is he going to defend? Is he going to defend? No. I don't overcook it. Porsche has really good traction. Okay. Almost pushed him off. OK, 
Okay, just make sure I do not overcook this. Oh man, good racing. Still in fourth. Just gotta stay with him here. Oh, oh, almost lost it. We both almost lost it. Ooh, got on the power a bit early there. Don't think I'll be able to get him into the hairpin, but it'll be a run to the line. I'm just worried about this this guy lunging me into this into this hairpin here. This could be quite close. Oh, no, that's ruined my chance there. Oh, I had to get it done earlier in the lap. Uh, wow, what a race. It was a brilliant battle. It was a brilliant battle, but that contact there has kind of ruined it. Oof. Okay, guys, P4. But yeah, new manufacturers and nations season coming very soon. Starting on the 30th with manufacturers. And then on the... 13th with the nation's cup with a potential new car and a new track to the game but yeah thank you so much for watching get yourself subscribed to more super gt i'll catch you next time goodbye